Hey folks, so I want to do something a, not necessarily different, but more specific, which is I'm going to, um, this is a review video specifically for this one um, release here, and I want to do this for a bit, see how long it lasts. I received this um, release from Public Eyesore, and this is a cassette by Aaron DeMastis. Aaron Damastis is a Los Angeles-based multimedia artist. I'm um, using the one sheet because I want to show, throw some light on this. Uh, she's a multimedia artist, composer, and performer whose research combines sound and technology with humor and drama, it says, and absurdity. Her work emphasizes the arbitrariness of product design by subverting the use and perception of materials with play and experimentation. So this cassette is a series of pieces and they're all titled A Color. It's, this thing is it's called Thing Music. And there's seven pieces and they're all different colors. And uh, it's, it's sound work. Um, just for example, pink. The next one is orange. Now, interesting to me, I'm just, just, just a little bit. Interestingly to me, in listening to this, it's not that the sounds sound pink or orange or that they definitely specifically call to mind those colors. But for example, orange, there was a textural aspect of what was going on with something that almost sounds like um, the teeth on a comb being plucked or something like that rubbing on a surface where it kind of rem was reminiscent of the uh, rough surface. Well, oranges aren't rough, but you know what I mean? That the surface of an orange This, this this work the way the way that I approach it is again I'm interested in sound have been since I was a kid relate to that about this book by the way with Paul Sears and so the idea of listening to music as a listening to sound not so much as well as music but in the sense of it as a sound field or, yeah, that's the word, because noise can be, can be interpreted many different ways, but I think ASMR is a term that maybe can be applied here, where sound can um, invoke things, soothing feelings, um, maybe memories, um, other unexpected responses. And so that's one of the things that I've always liked and continue to like about sound work. People who work with media in a not necessarily expected way. And also folks who make stuff. Apparently she's a an instrument maker like Brian Day who is the person that I still call a friend. I haven't seen him for years. He doesn't live here, but he's the person that started this label, Public Eyesore. And he's an in internationally known um, instrument maker and artist. So I wanted to call attention to this particular um, release on its own. Uh, I think people who are interested in this, this is something to explore. There are other people who have are looking for quote unquote tunes, music, whatever. And again, you may find this of interest um, thinking that you wouldn't be. So, Erin Demestis, Erin Demastis, I hope I'm saying her name correctly. Thing music, Erin Demastis, alrighty. And this just came out um, this month on Public Isol. Okay.